what have uh, what have you seen from San Jose State's defensive front on uh, tape? Um, they're quick guys, you know, off the edge. You know, just being able to communicate and get, uh, you know, get to every man, and you know, just um, collectively move as one. That'll help us against them. So. Specifically, what have you seen out of Kate Hall? Obviously, a 2020 All-American. Obviously, like that's you're talking 92, 92 yeah. or 42. Uh, not sure which one he is. Uh. Okay. Uh, well, so far, you know, just basically, you know, watching film with the coaches and you know, basically just breaking them down. You know, I see, you know, they have, you know, you never want to. Um, I don't say it. You don't ever want to downplay your opponents. You want to come in there. You want to do your job every day. So you know, I, I see. I pick tendencies and I choose what I want to work on, and I break them down piece by piece. So I know to help me towards my game. For sure. A lot of people kind of talk down on the 2020 class that you right. are a part of. Do you guys kind of enter this year with a chip on your shoulder? There's a lot of you guys who are going to contribute this year. Do you guys kind of have that chip on your shoulder? Oh, most definitely. Um, I feel like the whole team should uh, have that chip on the shoulder because we, we for sure didn't uh, complete what we wanted to complete last year. So I feel like as a whole team, not just the 2020 class, we should all have a chip on the shoulder because we have one objective in mind. That's a national championship. What, was it strange at all to hear all the, kind of all the negative talk during the recruiting during your recruiting cycle about this recruiting class? Like um, I mean, I heard it. I've seen it. I never really paid attention to it because I know me. I know my work ethic. And, you know, I don't let one somebody, you know, somebody's words define who I am because down deep inside, I know who I am. And I know what kind of person I am and what kind of work I put in every day. What's it like for you and Jonah to have kind of bigger roles this year on the Sumter line? Um, I just look at it just another step in maturity and then, uh, being able to, uh, you know, just elevate my game because uh, I know where I want to be on it. How does it feel to be playing next to a veteran like Andrew Voorhees, and how much does he help you at Man. times when it, we're literally in a player performance Man, now? Tell me a lot. Them two, Brett and, you know, having a veteran center and a guard, you know, just having that veteran interior, you know, that communication, and that, that leadership and that chemistry, and, you know, just being able to, you know, resonate that into the game, you know, it's been a, it's been a for sure a plus for me. What do you think it's going to be like for you on Saturday, the first time in the Coliseum with fans? Tunnel vision. <laughs> you know, after that first play snap, I shouldn't, I'm not going to hear nothing. It's going to be me and my objective and what I'm supposed to do. Is your family coming to town? Of course. You know what? Got to. Has anything surprised you about San Jose State and their defense? Uh, no, no, nothing really surprises me. You know, just, you know, hard, uh, some hardworking guys, you know, just coming there and doing what we do every day. Com com it all starts on Mondays, you know, having a good Monday and be able to have a great week and be able to prepare ourselves uh, for an upcoming uh, game. You went up against uh, Solo a couple times and scout team. It looked like he was uh, giving it everything he could out there. What was it like going out? Oh, yeah, my him? boy Solo, man, respect to my boy. You know, uh, you know, great player, quick twitch, uh, strength. You know, it's just, you know, it's just, you know, being able to, you know, complete, a, like just getting that reps and that repetition against basically everybody, even if it's not Solo, you know. Looked like he was giving you a good live look. Oh, yeah, you know, so he's going to give me a good look every time. You know, he try to bull rush me. But it's all about just staying in my frame and just doing what I'm close to. <laughs> How close are you with Jonah? Oh, uh, yeah, me and, me and Jonah are real close. You know, we sit next to each other. We, you know, we have a great we have great chemistry. You know, uh, after the, the plays, we come back, we kind of talk through, we kind of walk through what he's got, we kind of looks his guy, and what kind of looks I got. You know, basically just kind of feeding off each other, helping each other out. The feedback that I've gotten from a lot of people is, is that the offensive line has vastly improved this fall versus last fall. The big reason is you and Jonah. Um, how would, what would your description be if somebody asked you why you think this offensive line would be successful in 2021? Relentless effort, man. Just coming in every day, putting in the work, putting in the time, effort, and just a, a constant grind. You know, I say for me and Jonah and just the interior guys and basically the whole line, the whole summer break, we put in that extra time at work, and, I, you know, it's only going to pay off, and it's only going to increase from the upcoming season. You're one of the younger guys, obviously. Are, but are you one of the guys that kind of brings the energy? The oh, most definitely, because I feel like we should all have energy. Well, because you know, if you don't have energy, I feel like you should step out. You know, we have we have a, we have a game Saturday. You know, so we gotta have all all the energy we need because at the end of the day, it's us versus a faceless opponent. That's all we got. No matter who it is, come out there and we our dog. Are there any specific guys on the San Jose State defensive line that you're looking at in film or anything? Uh, of course, you know, uh, guys are 92, 91, uh, you know, uh, guys like 42, you know, just basically, you know, basically just picking them piece by piece, you know, just 
taking notes of what's, what's their tendencies, you know, just getting in and just knowing what I can do to combat it and be able to prepare myself. For <laughs> what was your overall impression of what you saw from the Um, overall impression, you know, just come out there, you know, just come out there as a unit five and just dominate. Just expect games, expect movements, knowing that they're fast guys, being able to stay half a man and just do what I'm supposed to do. Are you surprised they didn't get a lot of sacks? They only had one sack against that bet. Am I surprised? Yeah. I'm not really surprised, you know. Uh, I feel like that's, it's, it's going to be the same thing for us where they get no sacks. You know, just come out there and do our job and just have a little effort. When you see, when you're watching tape and you see a left tackle like Southern Utah's that had a really good game, do you find yourself studying what they did? Um, I'm most definitely seeing what they did, uh, you know, because of course I'm always humble. I'm always going to look for things. And uh, of course, I'm going to look for things to help me play, and, you know, overcoming Saturday. Of course, uh, I was 77. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had a good game. I seen the things that he did to 92, you know, coming in the bull rush, you know, the, the one one move to bull rush, you know, just being able to combat those things. Of course, I'm going to write those down to see what I can do to implement, implement that to my game. Obviously, I'm not an offensive lineman, so what's the secret to stopping a bull rush? Core strength and being able to hold your anchor and stand, stand in your base. You never want to be outside of your base. You don't, want to, you don't ever want your head over your toes. That's, that's major. Hands.